Hey, what's up, everybody? We made it to another Friday, and we're back with another vinyl review on the needle. And this week, I'm talking about Tony Braxton. So, Tony Braxton is a legendary artist. I don't think anyone could dispute that. And I have a couple of her vinyls. Uh, this is one of them, uh, the Spell My Name album. Now, this album really had one big single, which was the Do It song. She had the remix with Missy Elliott. Um, also got to move on that featured her uh, which was surprising I like the way that she did it because it features her on the guitar but not on vocals so I was kind of expecting a vocal duet there but that's not really what the song was um, she executive produced this album and she's been doing that for a while now um, I'd say more her most recent album she's been more at the production helm and I think even songwriting a little bit too. So this album originally came out, let me see, can't remember exactly what year. Um, 2020 is when it came out. Seems like it's been longer than that though. But um, so kind of right around the pandemic timing, which I think is one reason why this album probably didn't do as well as it should have been or should have done. Um, because it was very solid. I love it. Uh, I think it's one of her best albums, in my opinion, just as a uh, body of work. Maybe not individual songs, per se, even though I do have my favorites. But um, got this little poster on the inside. And then she has the song lyrics and credits here on this side. So... One thing that's interesting about Toni Braxton is, you know, she's done these couple albums with Babyface and Babyface and L.A. Reid were like the two that really jump-started her career with the Face Records. So what's interesting about her career and her album progression is she doesn't always work with Babyface. She may have a song or two with Babyface, like on this particular album. I think it's only one, if I'm not mistaken, and it's the bonus track, this song called Nothing. Um, that he produced and making sure y'all have any reason to call me out here and make me out of a liar, but that's the only one I'm seeing here. Um, but she's, you know, she's added some more producers like Antonio Dixon has produced quite a bit on here. She's actually producing some songs on here um, as well as songwriting that she's been doing more of, like I mentioned, Missy Elliott. Uh, which produced a do it song, which anything Missy touches is great to me. But the song that I think is the best song on this album is a track called Fallen. And I really think it was a missed opportunity. It should have been a single. And that song was produced by Jordan Manswell, Jonathan Martin, and also Tony Braxton. Tony Braxton also played a hand in writing this song, but it's just, I don't know, it's just a, such a sexy song. And the way she's singing it um, is dope. Now, this other song, uh, Spell My Name, I'm pretty sure it has Drake on it, which is probably my second favorite song on here. Um, but I love the way she did it in a way where it's not a typical Drake feature. So I think she's done a great job of staying true to her sound, true to who she is, uh, maybe sprinkling in a couple of trends or... Uh, maybe artists who are hot at the moment, but not in a way where it sacrifices her art and who she is as an artist. So that's just my opinion. But if you've heard this album, I would love to get your thoughts on it. Get your thoughts on Toni Braxton as an artist. Um, I heard that she's going to be doing, and maybe it's a residency. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. Can't remember for sure. But she's doing a concert with, I think it's Cedric the Entertainer. I don't really see the lineup, to be honest. I, I don't really see exactly how that meshes. I do understand singing and comedy. I can I understand that. But I'm just saying those two people, the pairing just seems a little weird to me, if I'm being honest. Um, but I've never seen her in concert. But from the clips I've seen, she puts on a great show. So I'm sure her part will be amazing. Um and she's, you know, consistently put out music and we're talking now 30 plus years because she first came out in 1990, 
was either two, three. Anyway, she's been out for over 30 years at this point and still relevant, still making music. Um, so yeah, definitely one of the best female singers of this generation, in my opinion. Um, I also love too, another quick note about this album, how there's only um, 10 tracks. One of them technically kind of repeats because there's a do it, the original version, and then the one with Missy. Um, so I'm not sure exactly how many songs were recorded for this album, but I think they brought this down to a good track listing for the core songs that should be included on the album and that were included. So it's my thought on it. But thank you all for tuning in and for watching as usual. And until next time, peace. Have a great weekend.